Hi everyone, welcome back to The Guru. Today we are going to learn how to make a budget in Google Sheets. The budget we're going to look at today is a shared department budget, but this format also works for a personal budget. When setting up your budget, a good format to use is to put in the columns the actual budget numbers and this column for comments that we're going to get to a little later. Over here on the left hand side, we have the rows. So there's operating expenses, sales and marketing, a more detailed breakdown, research and development, general administration, etc. Feel free to personalize it and add any columns or rows that you feel that you need. The first thing that I want to show you is a nice little trick, which when you highlight a set of data points like this, in the bottom right hand corner, the sum actually comes up so you don't have to use a formula. Now I want to show you how to make a heat map. First, you have to highlight the values that you would like to include in your heat map. After you've highlighted the values that you want to include, go up to Format and then choose Conditional Formatting. It's down here near the bottom. I'm going to come over to this bar right here and click Color Scale. And now I'm going to change the color of the heat map. For minimum value, I'm going to say white. And for maximum value, I'm going to choose this burgundy color right here. Now the midpoint, you can choose between it being a number, a percent, or a percentile. I'm going to choose percent, and as you can see, it preloads 50%, and that's fine. So then I'm going to say done. So a heat map shows you the difference between the values that you're working with. As you can see, the highest values are in the darkest red, these two here, 3000, 2850. And then the lowest value are going to be in white. Down here near the bottom, this 150 is the lowest value. A heat map is a great way to draw someone's eye to the values that you want them to be paying attention to. When you are the owner of a shared budget, you might want to protect certain things in the spreadsheet so others can't edit them. The way to do this is to highlight what you would like to protect, go to data, and then in the middle, it says protected sheets and ranges. Click on that. Now I'm gonna go over to this bar on the right hand side and I'm going to name this protected sheet budget. Then I'm going to click set permissions. I'm just gonna make this editable by only me. And then save it. Now I'm gonna show you how this looks to someone else. So this is an account that I've shared the sheet with. And as you can see, if I go here and try to edit it, it says you are trying to edit a protected seller object. So people that you share it with can see it, but they can't actually edit it themselves. Now we're gonna go back over to our main spreadsheet and talk about this comment section right here. Having a comment section is very useful because the people that you've shared this spreadsheet with can make notes on your budget. Now if we go back over to the account that we shared the spreadsheet with, we'll see that they are able to add other comments as well. But again, can't comment on that. That's about it for how to make a budget with Google Sheets. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Thank you. Have a great day.